It's like every time A24 starts to lose me with a couple of really bad movies in a row, they put out a film like this and totally redeem themselves. Heretic, damn good movie. Highly recommend. All right, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. Oh, we can talk about it for a bit. This is gonna be a spoiler-free video. I'll probably, not promising anything, but I'll probably do a spoiler-filled one too. We'll see how this one performs with the, the YouTube gods. But in the meantime, if you haven't, I would appreciate it if you sub to the channel, hit the notification bell, and even like this video if you find yourself enjoying it along the way. Much like how I enjoyed the journey of Heretic, an hour and, I will say 45 minute film, a psychological thriller, featuring a couple great actresses and a fantastic performance by Hugh Grant. The actresses here are Sophie Thatcher and Chloe East. They play the roles of Sister Barnes and Sister Paxton. Just a couple of gals out in the town trying to spread the good word of the Lord. And their path is gonna lead them right to Mr. Reed's house. A very pleasant individual who's got a somewhat unconventional living situation. You see his home is run on a timer. It's one of those fun old wind-up things you turn, and then it just slowly goes back to the beginning and then bam, all the lights go off in the place. So he has to keep resetting it. Why does he have to keep repeating such a mundane task of resetting the lights every so often? Well, because that's his goal in life, to reset, deprogram people who have been fooled into believing in religion. As far as the story goes, I'm gonna leave it right there because I don't wanna ruin anything and I want you to go in with fresh eyes on this one, make up your own mind. But when I really enjoy a film like I did this one, you gotta keep the mysteries intact. Hugh Grant is having a great time with this role. I was never the biggest Hugh Grant fan. I remember him being in a lot of rom-coms in the 90s and then not really hearing much from him until the last couple years where he was randomly an Oompa Loompa and Wonka. And now here as this kind of brilliant mind that brings up a lot of topics that might be hard for people to hear, both in the film and in the audience. Especially if you are really big into religion and your faith is maybe a little shaky. Some of the things he proposes might make you question it. And these are the types of movies I enjoy. Ones that do challenge you. Ones that do make you think about things more than, oh, that explosion was cool. Now, don't get me wrong, I love, I love a good explosion. But sometimes it's, it's nice to have more than that. This is also one of those movies I didn't see a single trailer going in. Man, I love going into a movie blind, especially a thriller or a horror. This is a thriller. Now, there, there are maybe one or two moments where you might feel a little tensed up, could be on the scarier side, but no, this is through and through a mystery thriller. It is rated R for some swearing, for a little bit of violence and gore, but for the most part, it's a psychological conversation breaking down, a mind game, a puzzler for these two girls to figure out. And like rats in a maze, they're gonna have to find their way to that cheese on the other side. Hugh Grant is deliciously devious here. Might be something you see on a poster as a pull quote, and that's fair, because he is deliciously devious here. But Sophie and Chloe are no slouches either. They're putting in the work, they're giving good performances, and they're just allowing Grant to chew up every piece of scenery he comes into contact with. The majority of the movie is gonna take place in this house, but it's still a very pretty looking film. Really great use of shadows here. There's none of that film grain and the dark scenes. It's all very crisp. The camera work is very effective as well. There are moments that are definitely elevated just by the vantage point they're putting that rig at. Honestly, no real notes. I think it's effectively done. The story is solid. I could see the argument that some may say it loses the plot a bit in the end. It doesn't really know how it wants to finish up but I thought it was all very well executed. All this on top of the fact that I had a freaking terrible audience. There was like five or six people in the way back, phones constantly going up in the air like a rave is happening. They're talking loudly for the first 15 minutes until the gentleman directly behind me turns and says, shut the fuck up. At which point they did no such thing. They kept talking, laughing, being all around jackasses, which is really hard in a movie like this where it is pretty quiet for the most part and it's just dialogue bouncing back and forth. An older gentleman got fed up at around the 25 minute mark. He got up, 
left the theater, at which point I got up with him. I don't know why, I guess just to be an eyewitness and because I know the people that work there. So I wanted to give a little bit of backup in case he needed it. They were scolded and thankfully they were quiet for the rest of the movie, but how embarrassing. These weren't teenagers. These weren't children. These were grown ass adults that could not stop themselves from loudly talking. But even with all of that happening, I was still fully invested in the movie. And that screams volumes louder than the dipshits in the back. All right, those are my thoughts. Even though the people in the back here ticked me off, I still really love the movie and would love to hear your thoughts. Have you seen it yet? Are you now planning on going? Pop them in the comments below. Please, again, think of liking and subbing to the channel. I post lots of movie reviews every week. Would love to have you on board. If you really appreciate what I'm doing and you want to give back for the holidays, think about becoming a patron at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. There are a bunch of exclusives every month and there's already over 300 videos in the library for you to just kind of go through. There's a lot of really good stuff there. I, I promise you that. All right. Hopefully I catch you next time. Take care.